This is Mr. Islam Yusuf. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the function and we will know. What is the meaning of the function? How to determine if the relation is a function or not? The vertical line test. Evaluating the value of the function. Number one, what is the meaning of the function? The function is the relation between the input and the output. In a function, there is exactly one output for each input. We will use all of the input of the domain and there is only one connection between the domain and range. That is the meaning of the function. For example, we have here negative 3 connected with 5, 0 with 3, 2 and 2, 4 and negative 1. Each element of domain connected only one time with the element of range. So the most important we need to look at domain. The all of the element of domain are connected with the element of range or not. If there is any element of domain connected two times or not. If there is any element connected two times, it means this relation is not function. If there is any element of domain that doesn't connect with any element of range, it means this relation is not function. What is the meaning of the vertical line test? If we can draw any vertical line intersect the graph at two vertical points, it means this relation is not function. For the first one, we can't draw any vertical line will intersect the graph at two vertical points. So this relation is a function, because there is no line. But for the second one, we can draw a line, a vertical line, intersect the graph at two vertical points. So this relation is not function. For the last one, if you draw a vertical line like this one, you can find that for the first one, it's open. It means this point is not included at the graph. But for the second one, it's closed. It means this point is included. So this relation will be a function. Determine whether each relation is a function or not. To represent the relation between x and y, we need to write the equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. So by shifting negative 3x to the other side, so the relation now would be y equals 3x plus 8. By using any value for x, so negative 1, 0 and 1, 3 times negative 1 equals negative 3 plus 8 equals 5. 3 times 0 equals 0 plus 8 equals 8. 3 times 1 equals 3 plus 8 equals 11. So the first point, negative 1 and 5, that's the coordinate of the first one. 0 and 8. And the third one will be 1 and 11. After that, draw the line that represents the relation. You will find that we have a linear relation. You can't draw any vertical line intersect the graph at two vertical points, so this relation is a function. Number two, four x equals eight. To solve this problem at the first, we need to solve for x. It means divide all of the equation by four. So it will be x equals two, because we divide by four. For x equals two, it's represented by a straight line parallel to y axis and the intersect x axis at the point two. So this will be a vertical line intersect the x-axis at 2 and the parallel to y-axis. For any vertical line, this relation is not function. It's a relation but not function because it's represented as a vertical line. Number 3. 4x equals y plus 8. As we said before, if we have a relation between x and y, we need to write the relation in the form of y equals mx plus b. So to write it, we need to shift 8 to the other side, so by subtracting 8, so y equals 4x minus 8. We can choose any values like 0, 1, and 2. So 4 times 0 equals 0, minus 8 equals negative 8. 4 times 1 equals 4, minus 8 equals negative 4. 4 times 2 equals 8, minus 8 equals 0. So the first point, 0 and negative 8. The second one, 1 and negative 4. The last one, 2 and 0. By graphing, we will find that this relation is represented as a straight line. Because this line is not a vertical line, so this relation will be a function. 